a tree planted by the rivers of water. They will bring forth fruits in season. Their leaves shall not wither. Whatever they do will prosper. They will prosper. Release the words of prosperity into their lives. They will prosper in the things of God. Church, pray. Church, pray. 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 If you, oh, your eyes can only be open to see the forces that contend over destinies. Herod was slaying children. He wanted to stop the plan of God from coming to pass. Pharaoh in Egypt was after children. The more he persecuted the children of Israel, the more they grew, the more they worked strong. And he thought the only way was to eliminate the children, the male children. But you know, he's not only contending for male children, he's contending for female children. He's contending for young and old, for babies. Now release the word of God into these lives. Release the word of God into these destinies represented here. Destroy the power of witchcraft. Destroy the powers of witchcraft over their lives. If there be any of them that is still possessed by another spirit, this church is uh, too quiet. It's 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 too quiet. If there be any of them possessed by another spirit, ancestral spirit, possessed by a spirit of error, possessed by the spirit of the devil, cast them out in Jesus' name. Cast them out in Jesus' name. In their dreams, the devil will not have prevail over them. In the physical, the devil will not prevail over them. If you understand what the school systems are like, liberal school systems, dominated by forces of darkness and teachers that come with occultism and another spirit, no wonder we have violence in our school systems. No wonder children are carrying weapons to schools because the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, to destroy. Now, every contrary spirit walking in the lives of any of his children, the Lord rebuke you. I cast you out. I remove you. I bind you. Pack your load. Pack your load. If your children don't have peace, you cannot have peace in your family. There will be the peace of God in their lives. The peace of God in their lives. You say, I don't have children. When you pray for other people's children, you're praying for your own children to come. Now, let every darkness, hear us. Hear us. Every darkness. I say every darkness represented in the lives of his children. Every form of darkness, confusion, unresolved conflict, the Lord rebuke you. 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 Anything in their life that gives the devil a legal place. Anything in their destinies that gives the, the devil a legal place. And the devil says, because of this thing, even if it's coming from parents, I detect them from every negative history, from every control and manipulation, from the pit of hell. The devil says their parents made some mistakes. There were errors. And for that reason, I have come to stay. No, Satan, I say, you have not come to stay. These ones that God has given us are for signs and wonders. Now, plead the blood of Jesus. When I see them, when you see a David, a shepherd, you see, there's a, God sees a king. When God sees a shepherd boy, he sees a king in the making. Oh, when God sees that shepherd boy, when God saw that shepherd boy called David, God was seeing the future, a king over Israel. With the eyes of faith, we see rulers. We see champions. Now, proclaim champions, rulers. Proclaim over them. Deliver us out of them. Ministers out of them. Godly people out of them. They will all be godly, godly. Successful people. Mm -hmm. 
they will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. They will bring forth their fruits in his season. Their leaf will not wither. And whatsoever they do shall prosper. Father, we dedicate these ones to you. We commit these destinies to you. We are limited, we don't see far, but you see beyond us. If this one, so God will have your spirit in them and will be released to our society, darkness will have no hiding place. Therefore, we plead with you that you cause your presence to go with them everywhere they go. We pray that none of them will be hijacked. But rather you use them to hijack others from the pit of hell. We pray as a result of the ministries represented in the lives of his children, our society will be safer. That wherever they go, they will carry the peace of God with them. The mark of Christ on them. That whenever the devil shows up in their life, the devil will hear the word, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Touch not the children of the living God and do them no harm. Where their parents are unable to shelter them or defend them, Holy Spirit, Almighty God, raise a banner of defense for these children. As they go into their school systems, oh God, we pray you raise a banner of defense over them in Jesus' name. We pray that, Lord, you will sanctify every hand that will touch them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe some of them have been bought, born with some health issues. We want to pronounce today that every health problem, today they minister to us on healing. None of them will live here with any problem, even any sickness in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak to their entire system. Receive the touch of God today in the name of Jesus Christ. When we watch some of them, we know the struggles their parents went through. When the society tried to redefine what their lives and health are supposed to be, that they are deficient in this area, they need to have this and that and that, they are this and that, they gave them all sorts of names. But today we see on this pulpit that children that were once characterized as some other things by the medical field, we saw the word of God emanate through their mouths. Father, we pray they will go from glory to glory, from glory to glory, from glory to glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will continue to go from glory to glory. Amen. The report of the Lord will stand in their lives. Thank Amen. you, everlasting Father, for we know Thank that you, you've Lord. had us. For in Jesus' Amen. precious name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Now, children, show the church that you are children. Now, run back to your seat. Run back to your seat. Let's run. Quick, 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 quick. Now, you see, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've been told that there is food for the children downstairs. Now, for this moment, adults, you're no longer children. The real children will have food downstairs. But if you think you're a child, then you can also go downstairs. Praise God. Now we're going to share the grace in fellowship. The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now you're going to turn to somebody you've never met. Now turn to somebody you've never met. You've never had a dealing, or maybe you saw a long, 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 long time ago. And say to them, if someone who knows you comes your way, tell them, move on. Make sure you have someone beside you. Say, surely. surely. Brother, surely. Sister, surely. surely. Meanwhile, surely. maybe I didn't tell you this today. You look very good. Amen. If it's a bride, say, you look handsome. If the sister say you look beautiful, I see the joy of the Lord in your, upon your face. And I see that joy in your life. You're looking vibrant. Now tell them, surely. Surely. So you knock. Of all the people, it's your wife you went to. <laughs> okay, surely. 
God's goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever amen enjoy the rest of the day God bless you all